Arab Bedouin's Prophecy From millennium past, there were two types of Arabs, city dwellers and Bedouins. Bedouins are nomads. They travel through the vast deserts and are constantly on the move. Even during the Golden Age of Islam, when Arabs were the richest and most learned people on earth, Bedouins remained in virtually the same state that they had been for thousands of years, poor, uneducated, and cut off from the rest of the world. Yet Muhammad, peace be upon him, foretold that these Arab Bedouins of his region would one day compete with one another in the construction of tall buildings. Now tell me of the last hour, asked the man. The prophet replied, that you see the barefoot, unclothed Bedouins competing in the construction of tall buildings. Today we find in the Arabian Peninsula, the Bedouins who used to be impoverished herders of camels and sheep are now not only competing with one another, but also the entire world to construct the world's tallest buildings. How did one of the poorest people on earth, who literally wore rags, become the wealthiest nations on earth? One thing that made this rapid change possible was the discovery of oil. The seemingly empty deserts of the Bedouins had it in abundance. They went from camels to Cadillacs in a single generation. The construction of tall buildings among the Arab Bedouins has even reached Mecca, Muhammad's city of birth. The last few decades have seen a massive surge in building construction in Mecca. The famous Mecca clock tower is currently the third tallest building in the world. In order for such construction to be possible, many of Mecca's ancient mountains had to be demolished in order to make room for the tall buildings that had sprung up. Amazingly, this is also something that Muhammad had foretold. He said, The hour will not be established until the mountains are moved from their places. This tremendous feat of demolishing entire mountains has only been made possible in the 20th century with the advent of technology such as explosives. It's important to point out that Muhammad himself was a simple man and wanted other Muslims to maintain that simplicity. He did not like Muslims to be extravagant. So, if he wanted to will this prophecy to become true, he would have to encourage the Arabs to build tall buildings. Yet, he never did.